this question should be mine. Actually, this is right for Ivan. There was some creative license taken during the beginning of the draft process, the actual NFL draft as you staged it. The commissioner comes to the podium and welcomes everyone to the 2014 NFL draft to uh, enthusiastic applause in your film. <laughs> the laughter that you're hearing is that my colleagues who have been to many NFL drafts and acknowledge that he is booed vociferously from the <laughs> peanut gallery. And we're wondering if the league asked or if you just decided creatively how that decision was made creatively? Um, honest to God, they never said anything about the booing or the applause. <laughs> and uh, I certainly heard enough booing on the night, particularly from Jets fans uh, <laughs> in the 2013 draft. Um, we actually recorded live for some of that stuff uh, and have the boos, but yes, you're right. We did... Um, uh, we did add more applause because I think it would have been somewhat confusing for people who don't know anything about the draft and the history, the humorous history of, uh, of that. Any more questions? Over here. Hey, Dennis, Paul Sylvie, King TV in Seattle. As a guy who clearly speaks his mind, how much do you appreciate a guy like Richard Sherman and some of these other guys who, who, who are a little bit more boisterous about their comments and in, in, in this mundane world sometimes where the comments are always the same after and before games? Um, I, I, I'm old school. <sighs> Ostensibly, I, like Barry Sanders, like act like you've been there before. But um, those days seem to be long gone. Um, <laughs> I like stuff like that, man. I'm a, you know, I'm a, as a sports fan, you know, uh, I, I like when guys, you can talk trash and you can back it up, I think you're fine. Personally, I would not say anything about Peyton Manning's passes <laughs> before the Super Bowl. I would not try, I would try to stay away from the guy, you know, pissing off a guy like that. Uh, but I find it very entertaining. I mean, um, I think that kid's a smart kid. Uh, and it's entertaining during Super Bowl week to have people saying funny stuff. But I would have, I would have stayed away from saying ducks about Peyton's passes. Uh, <laughs> And I think, you know, I hope he doesn't pay for it on Sunday. Kevin, Kevin, hello. Your character is under incredible tension for 24 hours, besides the personal issues that he's dealing with. Professionally, did you ever uh, ask, is this really this bad for 24 hours, the day of the draft, the tension? Uh, no. I, I, listen, you know, he wakes up and he has a problem with his girlfriend. I know none of you ever have, <laughs> but I do, <laughs> lucky guys. You know, and he gets in the car, and, and he, you know, before he even gets in the car, he turns on the TV, and, the, and the, the, ra the radio guys are already down on him. And he gets in the car, and they're down on him. I mean, they want to run him out of town. And there's a scene in a movie that you don't see where he gets to the gas station, and a woman kind of gives him a smile, the first person to give him a smile, and she basically says her and her brother plan to burn his house down. <laughs> If, um, if they screw up this draft. So it doesn't stop for him. Uh, his mother hates what he's doing. Uh, and so he is under enormous pressure. So no, I, I, I can feel that. that this, they start planning for the draft right after this one's over. And um, I know what it's like to focus that way. So I didn't find that unbelievable at all. It was, uh, it was something that drew me to it. It was, it was well, very well drawn. How about a round of applause for